I have a pretty good feeling that we're going to finish this level quickly. That abrupt halt always gets me. I'm like, what? The timing of this always gets me. Um. Oh, wow. That was impressive. Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. No. Okay. If you're watching this, pray for me that I don't get a game over because I do not want a game over. Because game overs are actually sort of inconvenient in this game. Where in modern games they have basically sanitized most modern games of game overs like Shovel Knight and Messenger so even though they're like oh they're hard like retro games but if they don't have game overs then they are not hard so then again maybe I shouldn't say that I think difficulty is relative, really. But I don't consider myself good at most hard games. Like I consider like Mega Man a hard game. Like Mega Man is one of the hard, harder games I've played. But Shovel Knight is fine. Well, especially because there's not a lot of penalty for dying. So when I say I'm I'm good at Shovel Knight, I mean that I can do it. Because it doesn't have a life system. It probably means I die plenty, but I can do it. Ugh. <sighs> No, man, no. Okay. Start as Diddy. Good. Killing enemies that you can't see because they're off screen. That's my ironic favorite thing in this game. stretch. Hallelujah. Croctopus chase. Uh, well, if we get a game over on Croctopus chase, uh, it won't be the best thing, but it won't be terrible. It will be, it'll be pretty bad, because I'll have to do all those levels again. But, um, I'll edit this into something watchable, and uh, I hope you enjoy. Uh, thank you for your support, I guess. Even though you're not giving me any financial support, I don't have a Patreon. I'm not good enough to have a Patreon. Anyway, I shouldn't say that. Uh, yeah, thank you for your continued patronage of Helium Lemon. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.